While we're outside of Brady, well, let's keep heading up the road to visit the even smaller town of Melvin, Texas. Today, cows outnumber humans out here, but both are getting well fed by the oldest and biggest operation in town, Jacoby's Feed and Seed. In a lot of ways, this store is Melvin. It's Melvin's Mercantile, Feed Store, Community Center, and Cafe. This is owner Jason Jacoby. That's a good cold beer. You know what? It's the coldest beer in Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> I know why. That's the only beer in Melbourne. Yeah, well, it is. But <laughs> best chicken fried steak in Melbourne. Best oh, burger yeah. in Melbourne. Oh, yeah. Best... yeah. Yeah. Man, this this place is kind of a one of a kind. I mean, this is it really. Is. is this all there is in Melbourne? Uh, a couple not houses. much more. And water tower? Oh, oh, got one stop sign and stuff here at the front up here. But... You heard that right. One stop sign. Not even a stop light. But you don't have to live here to know that this is one of the best places on earth to stop in for some classic country cooking. Woo yeah. What do we have here? We have fried onion rings and fried asparagus. Fried asparagus? Yes, sir. Now that's the way to eat vegetables right there. Oh yeah, that's the only <laughs> way to eat a vegetable. You gotta have ranch Ooh. dressing. Oh yeah, it's Texas, that's, right? And that's homemade. Of course, everything's homemade around here. Really? Oh yeah. Everything. Tell me about this. Feed and seed. Correct. And who are you feeding? Us or cows or anything we you feed want to feed? everybody. Okay. That's the thing. The Jacoby family, and there's a lot of them, including Jason's wife Kelly and their new grandbaby, started off in the 80s buying and selling grain. But now they've grown to become one of the premier feed producers in the state. You want to raise big deer, goats, or cows? Well, this is your good stuff. Oh, is yeah. it easier oh, no to feed doubt. humans or cows? That's at least a human can tell us what they want. <laughs> and, uh, so still easier to feed a cow. <laughs> <laughs> that's the yeah. honest answer, right? But you know what the thing is, the cows that we feed, that's what we're having here. This All is... natural, no hormones, no antibiotics, so we know exactly what you're eating. That is the country way predating oh, yeah. the craze of getting stuff done like that. That's, oh, yeah. oh, that's yeah. how country folk have been doing it forever. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Of course, their country specialty is beef. Jason recommended the sirloin, Kansas City style, which evidently means a lot of meat. Looks like it's steak night for me, boys. This is how they feed people in Melvin. I might have <laughs> over ordered the steak. Nah, you can this, do it. <laughs> it's sirloin served Kansas City style, so you got all different sorts of pieces that I'm gonna guess adds up to a good four or five pounds right here. All right, probably a little, a little less, but I might need some help finishing that. Oh yeah. Sirloin, medium rare. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's got that like deep beefiness all the way through it. That's a good sirloin right there. Simple seasoning, cooked the right way. Don't forget your vegetables. Vegetables. Todd. Todd, why are you why are you standing on that chair and why are you talking about vegetables in a time of meat like this? You insult me. We've been to a lot of places in Texas. Never have I run into a spot that feeds all their own cows takes them, dry ages them, and then serves them in their restaurant. That's pretty special. And uh, the proof is in the flavor. For sure, it works. 